Hello guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel and um, this will be a new series on my YouTube channel. We'll be reviewing some of the um, free plugins that are available in the internet which we can use and some of it good, some of it works, some of it doesn't work but hey, it's free so yeah. So today we'll be reviewing, I'll be reviewing uh, the Labs by Spitfire Audio. So let's check it out. So guys, um, you can just search it by clicking Labs. Uh, just type Labs, uh, free virtual instrument which is this is this is the main page page which you can sorry the main page the main page <laughs> the main page you can uh, download the plugins and if you read here uh, this is the explanation the the info about this and then you can but firstly you need to download the Spitfire audio app in your computer there's um, available for Mac and Windows so you choose which one is um, compatible with yours uh, your computer and this is where the plugins is um, uh, the, the variety of plugins so this is all free guys you can just use this uh, for your music making music arrangement you can just use it there's a lot of here there's percussion string organic texture bass guitar auto harp this is a lot you need to go and check it out and before you download this you need to do you need to make an account in Spitfire audio um, so that you are able to download this um, Spitfire Audio app on your computer. So I'm going to show you how's the Spitfire Audio app. One, two, three. Okay, guys, this is the uh, Spitfire Audio app. Um, you can see this in my product labs downloading and setting. So you're gonna go to labs. You're gonna go to the labs. So this is where all the plugins are. You can just download it from here. If you have, if you have downloaded the, the the audio app, you can just download it directly from here. Um, no, no. Uh, there's no need for you to go to the um, web page. You can just go directly here and download. Just click install, and every plugins it will state it there. Uh, how many space it will take on your computer so which is very good conventional for you to uh, to 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 check so you can just click install and once it's installed you can check the install installing and downloading here so the progress will be in here so let's just go and check one uh, let me see let's just click one okay it will ask you to choose whether you want to put it in the download for the file or on your uh, hard drive so just click hard drive so guys so here here's the downloading um, st uh, status so you can check here and you can click pause on the download so um, you can click pause so your download is paused all right so once it's in, once you've downloaded the the plugins it will show in the install so you can check this is my plugins that I've already installed so you can just check it here alright okay enough for this so let's check the mu let's check the sound how does it sound um, alright let's check it out so um, whatever door that you're using uh, I think you need to recognize the third-party plugins in your door so each door is different way so I think you can solve that but for me, I've already done that part, so I'm just gonna do open the track, which is here. It's already open, and then click an instrument, which is Lab Stereo, and it's done. Here it is. So this is the interface. This is what you see when you open. So this is where you operate everything inside here. So I'm gonna explain to you briefly on. Um, I want to explain you briefly on what's happening here. So um, there's a master volume here, which you can control the volume. So this volume we control everything. Whatever you change this the 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 sound here, this will retain the same. It will control the volume. Uh, but I always put it in just the hundred here, so I can control from the uh, my track. But it's up to you, whichever you like, whichever you. Uh, prefer but for me I prefer on the track 
and then we have a pan you can pan your plugins uh, you can pan your sound here directly without using your track pan and then you can tune it i think you can tune it into a milli millisecond milli yeah sort of like a really macro type of tune all right and then what we have here i think this is the like a volume but for the plugins it's not a main one but for just for whatever you change let's say you change into uh, uh, some other plugins uh, sound uh, it will control only the volume on the sound that you are using so i think i skipped this i, I forgot to explain here this is where you um, choose your sound okay what i like about um spitfire audio about pl uh, about labs is that they 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 organize their sound in such way so that it's easy for you to find for example if it's drum everything is inside one uh just like one click on here so like the piano they, they it compiles everything like soft piano electric piano uh, piano pads and everything sort of all right and then um a synth uh let's say click off the scene so there's a model pianos piano pads and everything scene pen it, it just organize they organize it in such a way so it's easy for you to find uh, there's vocals and everything i'm gonna go some of it i'm um, gonna check it out uh, but before that uh, let me just explain the, the other stuff okay um here it acts like a volume for you and here this is a dynamic control which this one this part controls together with this you can control it with this i think if you can hook up to your midi controller there's a wheel on your right left i think left on your left side there's a two one two wheels one is for the pitch band one is for the dan i think i'm not sure what is what is the other one but i think you can hook this to your midi controller to control the dynamic of the plugins yeah this is really good so you can play sort of for string especially i'm going to show you later on okay um and then uh, what i like about S spitfire about labs is that it builds it has um built-in reverb you can get, get a reverb on this uh plugins without giving without, without putting any any reverbs on your track so th this is the good this is good so you don't need to do to put uh, a lot of uh, plugins on your track which is uh, will consume a lot of your cpu um it's best to have it inside here so you can just you know use whatever they give you inside here and there, so there's there's some of the uh some of the control that you are able to do is the reverb the release i think uh different plugins have different uh settings here you can choose but i think for the ensemble string there's only to re reverb and release right so i'm gonna go one by one i'm gonna go some of the plugins and just give it a review for you all right so here goes okay the first one i'm gonna giving a review is on the choir um this is one of my favorite plugins that i always use because it's really sound it sounds like a real choir singing so let me just show you really good it's really good so um what you can control here you see if i click this you can you can control the reverb let's say you want a bit more reverb you want you want the reverb to be more so you can have that yes so remember just now i, I did talk about this uh, wheel the dynamic wheel which you can control so let's see if i play it with this it will have more dynamic on the on, on the sound for example yeah i think we need some low low sound on it let's see can just cut immediately yeah <laughs> I, this is really interesting for me yeah this is the choir so, so let go, let's go to the next one the string the string the string is one of my 
favorite string from Labs because it really it's it sounds surreal. It it is as if like there's a string player playing in your ears. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go to the ensemble. Ensemble, sorry, ensemble. Let's just click. You can just play. Yeah, and then if you want to go to the next sound, you can just click this arrow. This will change. It's really good. I think this should. <laughs> yeah, and then this this pizzicato. So. sounds really good guys so this is the string you can just check it out and then you can control it here so um to make it sound the way you want it there's a lot you can just go and explore there's a lot okay so the next one is the drum okay there's i think there's only one plug in here i think the next the other one is the percussion but i think you could just use this for any of your project yeah But I think the dynamics are like this. Okay, I think let's try putting some reverb on it. I think it, it should sound good a little bit. That's too much. <laughs> so to say. You can just use this for you. Uh, let's say you can you, you did a pattern and you want a different sound. You can use this, the drums. Um, the pads. Okay, the next one will be a pad. Um, uh, sorry, the next one will be synth. This is where it gets interesting. The synths are really good, good sound. Let me just go to this one, synth pads. Let's go, synth pad number one. Let's go. Sound really good, guys. Next one, let's try number two. Wow, this is more majestic. Ooh. Yeah, I think, I think how many? There's yeah, ten. There's ten. Okay, I did. I forgot to uh, explain to you. Um. For example, if you download a synth pad, it's like you're downloading a package. So inside it will be, let's say, for a synth pad, there will be ten plug, ten sound on it. You can, which is you can use. So you you're downloading basically a package inside of it. Yeah. So yeah. So there's more here. There's um experimental. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's another more. And then there's like those. I I don't know what you call it, but I call it folly. Folly is like those background sound those those for movie yeah let's, let's just see this one i think i didn't download it uh, yeah uh, never mind I'll, I'll i'll show it for the next review so basically for me this is a really good plugins for those music arranger for music producer they are doing i think this is also very good for those who are doing um film scoring film scoring this is really good for you this is a go to for me personally this is must have for any producer for you to to use um in any sort of work that you are going to do um you can just experiment with it let's say you take an um any strings or synth and then just 
put another uh, plugins here for your let's say a dynamic plug uh, I mean a compression a EQ or make it something new you can just experiment with it this is a really good um, uh, plugins for you to use so that's all guys so um I hope you like on my new series if you like it do like and subscribe my youtube channel and please do share and i'll see you again next time bye